Hi friends, welcome to another edition of Scrapbooking in Belize. I'm Don, and today we'll be looking at the Inspira Art Watercoloring Tutorial Set. As usual, before we get started, I always have to apologize for the background noise in my videos. First and foremost, we are nursing some little chicklings or some little chicks that just got hatched a couple days ago so they're in the background chirping away um, today our dog is also in the house and she's in her pen playing with something and so she's making noise in the background and of course I do not live in the city here in Belize I live out in the village so you will hear dogs barking because we do have a dog that is outside when our neighbors pass I do live near the major highway so you will hear cars passing and you may also hear other little birds and other chirpings in the background I must apologize but it's just the environment where I live now to get started to our regular schedule program okay uh, I had previously filmed a review of this tutorial set however I kind of botched it in editing so I decided to do it all over again and I'm not gonna put it back together again because it did come in a box and it was beautifully presented it came with this book now this is I should say this is the inspire I think it's inspire or inspire water coloring tutorial set it, the authors of this book is Andre he it's because I can't pronounce the last name very um, carefully it's Andre he Gura Simyok and Vitali Dex and according to what they have written here it says that there are some of the top watercolorists in the world and they put together this tutorial watercoloring almost like a coloring book for beginners and avid watercolorists alike. Now the book is called Trip to Italy. There's another one that they produce called Trip to France, but this one here I got was Trip to Italy. It came with two brushes. It came with Rosa Gallery Squirrel, I guess this is natural squirrel hair brush, and this is a number four. It also came with a Rosa Gallery Squirrel number two. The significant thing about these this these brushes is that in the when you read the book because in the book it has some it tells you a little bit about the authors it tells you a little bit about their company I believe it's pronounced in I think it's in I'm not sure but that's well this was actually the sticker that came with it it um it tells you a little bit about their companies and it also tells you a little bit about what you're supposed to expect in this set now the book says that I'm supposed to get a number two and a number five but in truth I got a number two and a number four the book also have some little tutorial sections and practice sections um, some watercoloring techniques I've already done the practice sessions yesterday I had that video up but I botched it in editing and it also came with this supposed to be paraffin it kind of looks like a natural candle to me but it's called a paraffin and they have artistic wax on it it also came with masking fluid and it came with two sets of paints the set came with these paints as you can see it's well used and it also came with this set of paint also now it might look like a lot but did you notice it's it's very 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 thin now we're going to talk about a little bit about this book okay a little bit about this book so before I purchased this set I actually did a bit of research on it first I watched some YouTube tutorials and I did read carefully the reason why I got this set is because I want to learn as much as I can about watercoloring as possible. And some of the things I learned about this book is that one, 
the book has a mixture of what feels like magazine paper and watercolor paper. And according to the instructions and the introduction here, it says the watercolor paper in here is made from the finest watercolor paper there is in, in I forgot what part of the world they said the watercolor paper came from. I think it's Italy, but they said it's from the finest watercolor paper there is. Um, the research I did uh, suggests that these watercolor papers are actually Fabriano cold press. Now, whether the Fabriano cold press is, whether it's 25% cotton or 100% cotton, is I am not certain. But from the research that I did, it says it's Fabriano cold press. And yes, I did do an illustration. The first one, I'm not going to show you guys because I kind of botched the first attempt at it and I was very good at the second attempt of the um, tutorial now the tutorial comes with two practice pieces one here and one here it also comes with the picture that's an actual picture and then it comes with the watercoloring painting inspiration of that picture the only one that doesn't have this, and it also has the instructions, as you can see here. There is a little code to the end here because it does offer free lessons. If you want to, he has a Udemy um, courses or classes regarding this, and so he does offer that free to you, and this is a little code. However, it did say here that this class is in Russian, and I'm not really good at speaking Russian, so... I'm just going to read the instructions and try my best not to botch it again. The only thing, as I was trying to indicate earlier, that is a little odd about the book is this picture. This picture here only comes with one practice piece. And there is no instructions to it. So... I guess that's the reason why it's all the way to the back because I think the way they designed this book is for you to go from lesson one all the way to the last lesson and maybe that's the reason why this is to the back. Now let's talk a little bit about the paints. Okay, so now let's talk about these paints. These paints from the research and actually from the instructions from the book, it says that these paints are actually Royal Talents Van Gogh paints. And from what I have researched about the Van Gogh paints, they are not opaque. They have excellent movement. They are great with layering. They are bright. They don't live as much as I would like it to. It doesn't bring the paper back to that beautiful white. You can still see a little bit of staining for me. It has great granulation. No, sorry, it's not granulated, but it does gradiate. It doesn't dry chalky, it has great rewettability, and it's lag fast. Now, from what I know about the Van Gogh, it's on the higher end of the student grade paint, so you will expect it to have a good lag fast quality. And they have sent us 12 colors. Those colors are violet, lemon yellow, raw amber, burnt umber, olive green, vermilion, yellow ochre, Cadmium Yellow, Cadmium Red, Mother Lake Deep, Ultramarine, and Indigo. So now that we have done with the paints, um, I think now it's time for me to try again with another tutorial sheet because I kind of botched the first one. So let's see if I got better on day two. So lesson number two has here... Venetia, so I guess that's a part of Italy, and then it has Fiori Sol Muro here, and it has both the authors of the book here. So let's see how good I could be at this or how I've improved.
it. We're finished. We just now we just now need to wait until this dries a little bit. All in all, it's not that bad. It can be better, but you know they gave us a second try. So, but it can be better. Um, I do love these colors, but it doesn't seem that they gave me enough because I'm almost. I only did two lessons so far, and I'm almost out of raw umber and burnt umber so they didn't give me enough even though they said this can be they gave us enough for five illustrations it's barely been three the one thing also that i forget to mention in this in the first part of the video when i was talking about what came in the box i didn't mention these sample papers they came with five pieces of uh, watercolor sample papers cold press um, again I must repeat I think these are Fabriano cold press whether they're 100% cotton or 25% cotton I'm not certain but it did came with sample paper it's just that as you guys can see I just prefer to use my own swatch book to do my sample testing on but all in all I do enjoy this tutorial set I'm it's teaching me a lot about watercoloring. I think the more I get into it, the more I do little tutorials like these, the better I'll be at it. And that's it. Join me next time for another edition of Scrapbooking in Belize. Bye.